What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and it's time to look at our updated Heisman race after week 9 of the college football season. Uh, doing this one on Thursday, I'll have pick them on Friday from now on. I wanted to do uh, the Heisman video on Thursdays because last week, uh, you know, I did it on Friday and Bryce Love, you know, Stanford had already played Thursday night so it kind of messed things up. Uh, and again, all these videos will be moving over to the new channel and if you haven't subscribed, there's a link down in the description below. And like I just said, the upset, or not the upset, the pick them game will be tomorrow. I'll have that video up tomorrow, so watch for that one uh, tomorrow, probably in the middle of the day sometime. So here is the Heisman race that I have updated, and I think we've narrowed it down. You know, I've been doing 16 uh, players, but we've now eliminated eight of those, and I think it's, it's pretty clear that the eight players that have a chance to win the Heisman are right here. You're looking at them right here on this list. Uh, we've had some receivers on there. I don't really think any receiver is going to have a chance. Uh, we had, you know, Jalen Samuels of NC State. Uh, we had Zach Abbey of Navy. Some guys that we've eliminated here. Um, and a part of it is because of their team success. You know, you almost have to be, you know, a, a top playoff contender type team to get on this list. It doesn't have, I mean, you don't have to, uh, but you usually have to have a pretty good team. Lamar Jackson was, I think, an exception last year. And that's why he's still on this list. But let's break it down. I've got JT Barrett now at number one on this list. Huge performance against Penn State. That was his Heisman moment. Uh, you know, you talk about that with everybody. Uh, definitely, if we look, if he wins it, you can look back at that and say that was his Heisman moment. And so I've moved him up all the way to number one. The stats aren't quite there as far as you know leading the country and passing or anything like that. I think he's in the top 20 in passing, and it seems like he was maybe third place in passing touchdowns. Then you also have to account for his rushing uh, and his rushing touchdowns as well. So I think he's number one right now. Uh, my preseason pick, Baker Mayfield, I now have at number two. And number three is Mason Rudolph. So we could see if, if Mayfield outplays Rudolph or vice versa Saturday, we could see you know one of these guys emerge maybe up to number one and the other one maybe drop off. So that's a huge game as far as the Heisman race is concerned, uh, not to mention, you know of course, the Big 12 race, possibly the playoffs and all of that. So Saquon Barkley really got shut down against Ohio State for the most part. He had that big kick return to start the game, but after that he didn't do a whole lot and he has now dropped off to number four and there's not really going to be any major opportunities for him to have that Heisman, mo Heisman moment going forward. So I think that's really going to hurt him. I still think he's got a chance though. Lamar Jackson I really don't think has a chance. He was already in a tough situation because you know they're just not going to vote for uh, a winner two years in a row. I mean, I'm not say they wouldn't, but they're going to be hesitant to do that. And with Louisville's team success not being there, I just don't think he's going to get up to that number one spot. I think Lamar Jackson will probably get invited to New York, uh, but will never really have a chance to win it. Josh Adams of Notre Dame, he is emerging in a big way as Notre Dame continues to win, uh, and he just is, is the leader of that team on offense up there and a lot of the rushing uh, categories. Bryce Love, it's all about the injury. If he bounces back this week and has another big game, I think he's right back in this race. If he misses another game, he's probably over for Bryce Love. He will probably drop, drop off of this list. And Jonathan Taylor of Wisconsin, another guy that, that needs his Heisman moment. Maybe against, Wisco uh, maybe against Michigan, maybe in the Big Ten Championship. Uh, he's got to have his moment somewhere to have a chance. So to me, I really think these top four guys are this, the the clear leaders. I think you got your top four, then your next four. Uh, but as far as uh, who still has a chance, I really feel like it's one of these eight guys. Uh, and I've heard, you know, Nick Chubb suggested, and he just doesn't have the stats. I know George is playing really well, but he has to share carries with Sony Michelle, and uh, the stats are just not there. Jalen Hurts of Alabama, of course, they're up there, uh, number two in the, in the playoff rankings. Uh, he just doesn't have the stats either. So, you know, because of their team success, maybe you could sneak one of those guys in there if they uh, have a big finish to the season. But as of right now, I, I really feel confident that the Heisman winner is going to come out of these eight names. And I feel pretty confident that it's going to come out of those top four names. Uh, but I wouldn't say that for sure. Uh, what do you think? Who do you think is going to win it? Do you think it will come out of one of these eight guys? Or do you have a, a dark horse, somebody that... Uh, maybe it's kind of off the radar right now that you think could come back and win it. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And again, our Pick'em game video will be up tomorrow. And I'll have the link there for you to make your picks. Uh, you can also check the website, sg1sports.com. You know, I'll probably post 
the picks on there before I actually do the video. That may even be tonight. I don't know. If you want to check it out, you can. Uh, but that's it for our Heisman Watch, our Heisman Race video this week. Again, this will be on the Sports Gaming One channel next week, so make sure you subscribe. Link down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports and over on the Sports Gaming One YouTube channels.